AMC is doing the unthinkable. They're teaming up with streaming services. That's right. People they once thought were enemies are now, I guess, bedfellows. Frenemies is maybe more apt. But before AMC courts an Apple or a Hulu or whatever they're going after to have some sort of day and date streaming theater release, they have a secret weapon in mind to keep pulling people to the theater. And that weapon? Nicole Kidman. That's right, everybody's favorite theater commercial that you see while you're sitting in the theater with Nicole Kidman is getting a sequel. This is the maverick of movie trailers for the movie itself. This is the end game to Avengers Infinity War. We are talking high stakes. What's Nicole Kidman gonna do this time? Maybe she saunters in? A little bit more upbeat? Last time she was almost depressed, a little deflated, walking through puddles, it was rainy, she was all alone in that theater. Maybe she brings the gals out tonight. Oh yes, it's ladies night, when it feels so right at AMC. I don't know. I could see maybe a Wanda Sykes in there. Maybe we get a Melissa McCarthy with her. The sky's the limit. All I know is AMC has themselves one good old fashioned strong female lead. And for movie theaters, it's about time. Truthfully speaking, I find that commercial to be hell on earth. I don't understand what we're doing here. You are showing an ad for the thing that you're currently in. It's just odd to me. But I guess when you go into a car dealership, you do see ads for cars at the dealership, but that's because you haven't bought the car yet. When you're in the theater, you already purchased the ticket and you're sitting in said theater. Where's Nicole Kidman though? Is she in the back? Because otherwise, that's false advertising. I want Kidman in every theater I go in. How do I milk this out even longer? <laughs> this, is a, this is such a non-story. You think fucking Reese Witherspoon is going to walk into a Regal commercial and she's going to put people in the seats like Nicole Kidman did? No. You must be out of your mind. Actually, Reese Witherspoon is America's sweetheart. She or Sandra Bullock could really pull the numbers. If anything, we should have all out warfare between these theater chains. I want a Sandra Bullock ad. I want a Reese Witherspoon ad. I want them going head to head against Nicole Kidman. This could be like a theater cinematic universe. It would be wild stuff. It'd be Olivia Wilde stuff. Let's get Olivia Wilde in one of those. I don't actually, I don't know if people like her or not. Let's see if we can paint a picture for this new Nicole Kidman. Here's the pitch right now. You ready for it? The scene opens, a fade up from black. We are on a Hollywood movie set. Camera does a slow zoom through a door that opens by a worker who's walking in. We go over the worker's shoulder. This is a one take. We keep going down. Camera looks up briefly at the rafters above. There's people moving sandbags around. I don't know if that's a thing they do in the theater, in the like the movie department or whatever. Goes back down. We are on a movie set, keep in mind. Camera is whizzing around like a snack table. There's actors there talking. Maybe George Clooney's in the mix or Robert Downey Jr. They're basically retired. They'll probably do it for pretty cheap at this point or just for, you know, just for fun. Just for fun. Camera goes by them. They don't even acknowledge the camera. They're just having like a conversation with each other. We then pull up to Nicole Kidman as she's getting brushed in between takes. She turns and looks at us directly and starts to interact. When I'm done on a movie, I can't do her. She has like a weird British slash American accent. I don't know what's happening with her voice, but when I get off the movie set, the first thing I do is I go to the local AMC and watch myself on the big screen. She then starts walking and we go with her on this journey. She gets in the car. This is gonna be a one hour and 45 minute tour de force trailer for AMC that's gonna be before every single movie you see. Hell yeah. We're in the car with her. On the way there, she's attacked by drones. Car flips. Kidman's pissed, but you can't tell. She keeps her composure. She goes out the window, glass shatters. The reflections of the glass of the windshield show the different physique of hers as she pulls out double guns. 
Taylor Swift song, Are You Ready For It? <laughs> comes on. She drops down, hero pose, gets back up. There's a little bit of a reflection on a puddle. It's the same puddle shot they used from the first AMC ad. It's a callback. All good movies do this. She starts taking off in a full bore sprint. Goes down on her knees. Kish, 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 kish. Starts taking out the drones. <laughs> Spins around. <laughs> Takes out some more drones. Drops the guns. Pulls out the sod off. <laughs> <laughs> There's agents all around her. Why? Because they're from different competing theater chains. You with me still? I'm barely with myself. But you know where I am? I'm at the movies with Kidman. After she goes on a bloodbath, John Wick-esque killing spree, she walks into the theater. Dress is tattered up. She's got cuts and blood and scrapes all over. And then she just sits down in that fucking chair with her popcorn and her soda. And she relaxes. And then she winks at the camera and the movie starts and there she is in the action scene that we just witnessed. It was actually all part of the movie the whole time. Yes! This is the movie. This is everything. And it's just a teaser for AMC. It's a trailer for AMC. And then we watch Guardians of the Galaxy 3, which is two hours and 20 some minutes long. It's perfect. You're there for five hours. It's a nice deal. So long story short, AMC wants to do another commercial with Nicole Kidman. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.